What do I mean by conservation of matter? Jenna Workman tells her freshman biology students to act natural, do everything just as they always would. The Kearney High School digital media and design students are about to get important visitors, a team of researchers from the Broad Foundation. This visit will be part of what determines whether San Diego Unified receives the foundation's coveted annual prize. When the research team arrives, 14-year-old Victoria Moreno is excited to explain the class's chemical reaction lab to one of the visitors. We can see how we can like um, challenge them. I think it's really great because other people can see how great we are and how good we're doing and how much we're improving and showing everybody we can we're worthy of it. School districts can't apply for the Broad Prize. Instead, they're selected from the country's 75 largest urban school districts that have large concentrations of students of color and low-income students. Each year since 2002, four finalists have been identified for making the most progress in closing the achievement gap. The foundation's policy director, Gregory McGinty, says San Diego Unified was selected as a finalist for the first time this year because the district outperformed others in the state on math, reading, and science tests. And San Diego also narrowed the achievement gap between Hispanic and low-income groups. And low-income, Hispanic, and African-American students, particularly in high school in San Diego, improved more in science than much of the rest of the state. The researchers' visit to the Kearney campus is part of a four-day evaluation of the district. They'll talk to about 350 staff, teachers, parents, and community members about how the district operates. And lead researcher Shelley Billig says during six school visits, they're also asking lots of questions of students. Basically, we're asking them about instruction, what it's like to be a student in the school district. So we ask them about the way that their teacher teaches them, the kinds of things that they're learning, whether they're college ready or college we're ready of what their experiences have been in the district, what they would improve if they had an opportunity to. Researchers will use all of this information to see how San Diego Unified compares to their definition of a high-performing district. We've got 72 indicators that we look at. There are um, research-based best practices. We like to see the extent to which the district aligns uh, its practices to what we know works for closing the achievement gap and raising all test scores. To outgoing city schools superintendent Bill Coba, the district's selection as a broad finalist is like an Oscar nomination. He says they couldn't have planned for the honor, but that being selected validates the plans the district made to improve student learning. The annual goals and the strategic processes are embedded in advancing student achievement and graduating young people who are college and career ready doing so through quality teaching and learning and partnering at every level with staff, students, parents, and community members. Digital Media and Design School principal Cheryl Hiblin enthusiastically shows off those partnerships as she leads researchers through her school's classrooms. One design class researcher's visit is working on bingo cards they'll pitch to the Surfrider Foundation for an upcoming volunteer event. Since Hiblin came to Kearney 14 years ago, test scores have risen above state targets and more students are headed to college. She says the gains are thanks to breaking the campus into four small schools with themes that students were excited about. Putting 110 of them with a team of teachers whose responsibility it was to get the job done, it real, really allowed us to look at kids as names and say, this is what you need and we're going to give it to you instead of everybody gets the same thing. San Diegans will have to wait until September to find out whether city schools win the Broad Prize. As a finalist, the district is already guaranteed $150,000 in scholarships for next year's graduating seniors. The prize-winning district receives $550,000 in scholarships, all of which go to seniors who have shown the most academic improvement. Kyla Calvert, KPBS News.